Hi, my name is Daryl Brown with ChristmasLightShow.com and I'm going to show you how to put together the 3D star that you had purchased. Uh, it's going to come like as you see um, and then it's going to come with four sections of the, of the star. You're going to take the uh, piece like this and you're going to slide it up in the sleeve that's welded onto the main star. Push it all the way up. Then you're going to lean your corner down on the table or wherever you have it floor. Then you're going to pull this down and just let it pop up in there. Then you just do uh, continue on with the next one. Slide it up. Lean your corner down on the table so you can apply pressure to pull the star down. And then let it pop on up in. Okay, these are going to be a little bit loose and they can pop out, uh, but once you get the rope light on, everything's going to stay in place. Okay, so that's your 3D star and uh, it's also going to come with a metal flange and this metal flange you could put on, say if you're using the PVC tree, you can uh, bolt it down or screw it down into the bun foot uh, or make this work for whatever kind of topper you're making for your tree. Okay, you're also going to need cable ties and a little handy uh, cable tie tightener if you got one. It's not necessary. You can get them tight with your fingers. Uh, and if you get the uh, got the rope light kit, you're going to have uh, four pieces this is 18 inch cut uh, and it takes three sections of 18 inch cut so you're going to need a total uh, of four of that that length and then you're going to need uh, one that's uh, five sections of 18 inch cut which is approximately seven and a half feet okay and you're going to take the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to, on the first star, we're going to run this over the top of one complete star. And then these will keep us from uh, running the rope light over top the other rope light. So what it does is we'll take one side and wrap it on one side of the star and then wrap this on the other side of the star. And this Y splitter cable connects both sides. So if you're using this on as a computerized tree, you're going to have a three channel star so the star can spin around but if you're just using it on a static tree you'll have to plug in all three uh, cords to get the whole thing to light up and that could be done easily by using just a three-way lamp cord okay like I said the first one we're going to go ahead and start and what we want to do is we just want to start one end at the bottom Just gonna take your cable tie, get it a little bit snug, and then line your piece up. And we're using three eighths rope light, which is a lot easier to bend than the half inch. It's the half inch isn't any brighter. It's just the insulation on it's just a little bit thicker, which to me does not matter. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start on our uh, second star, and which the next two stars are going to require your two pieces of rope light. They're approximately 54 inches long or three uh, segments of 18 inch cut. Uh, 
if you look on the product page, there will be a document there that's going to show you how to, uh, if you're get buying the kit, you're going to need to put these splicers on yourself. And there's a document that shows you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top. Because on these stars, we're going to have, at, when, we, when we come down to the bottom, we're going to have probably, uh, I think it was 8 or 10 inches left. And we're going to take and cover that black tape to block the light out. Okay, so this is just going to be pretty much like we did before. We're just going to uh, just continue putting the ties on. Okay, now through the magic of video, the star is complete. We got uh, all three sections done. We got three power cords and went ahead and hooked it up to a Lightorama controller. And uh, now you're going to see it in action. Happy Holidays!